What is going on, guys? My name is Steve Fresh, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. Now, it's been a while since I last recorded anything or uploaded anything. I'm just in a period where I just want to upload and record whenever I feel like it. Another is like, you know, for me, it's me. And so I have the next four days off, so I'm going to probably record at least four days. But then again, one of my friends comes to North Carolina, so me and him probably going to hang out. Probably not going to record. I don't know. We're going to get a video in before we get to it, so. Let's continue. We last left off. We had fucking. We left her in a wheelchair. That's fucking. Right, we changed the past. We really like goofed. We done goofed up hard. Previously yeah, I, on Life is Strange. Yeah, I, you don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Yeah, we fucked up bad. Put Chloe in a fucking wheelchair. I don't really like that. So choose wisely. Our actions that uh the impact the past present and future okay our decision that we make can affect the now Woo. in the end it all comes down to two choices it always comes down to two choices with these telltale games speaking of which i need to avoid walking dead Hello, there's a whale. Yeah, yeah. A lot of scenic views, I mean, um. Oh. Nice, just walking down the beach full of dead whales. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. 
regrets more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, I'm pretty sure much. I yeah. To be honest, I would. The worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Yeah, Those beach whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. So they want to explain to us how this... What You're a real survivor, before. Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else I'm feeling sure sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get oh, to see you again. Paralyzed. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Just my mic. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. I want, I, want to, I want to record some more Fallout. <laughs> I haven't recorded that. I haven't played the game for about three weeks. I kind of want to play some Fallout. I miss I miss Fallout too. It's like every time I make a Fallout video, I get oh, it's a pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky. My parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <clears throat> oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Yeah, so we can just look around now. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Yeah, that would suck. Okay, um, water, water, water. This. I like how we just get up to get water and we just start doing every other thing. That's I should not offer water. to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But that's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. What is that, Hot Wheels chat room? Okay, I, should, I shouldn't really read that, but. Uh, let's read it. Okay, I don't really care. That's a big ass TV monitor, though. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. That fucking shirt looks awesome. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah. Um, where's the water? Where the fuck is the water? I don't. Oh. Drink up, Buttercup. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. 
Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, Blade you know, I Runner always wanted voice. to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. I didn't know I was going to do that. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. There's the old Chloe. Who's that? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Ah, here's the DVD. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Holy shit. Man. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Well, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and say y'all here. I hope you guys did enjoy this sad return. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, please. If you want to see more, subscribe. Totally subscribe. I'm like two subscribers away from 100 subscribers. So yeah, it would mean a lot to me if you did that. And yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.